All right, we'll continue with our health discussions. Definitely inspirational indeed. But um, seeing we are in International Deaf Awareness Month as well, here's a question for you. Yeah. What were you doing on the 30th of January this year? Well, I can't remember what I was doing, but I do know why that date stands out mm -hmm. because that was the date that a man named Michael Swartz, for the first time after 25 years of living in complete silence, was able to hear the world around him for the very first wow. time. Gives me chills, man, but this is his story. Take a look. Today, Michael works in the hospitality industry. He has swum for South Africa at the Paralympics, made it to the finals of one of South Africa's biggest talent competitions, and trained horses to accommodate handicapped riders. But despite several attempts, the one breakthrough that's consistently eluded him has been to gain the ability to hear. Our reaction when we found out Michael was deaf was very traumatic for us. It was very difficult for us to comprehend that we had a deaf child. It's hard enough to be a parent, let alone a parent of a disabled child. We didn't know where to start. We loved him unconditionally and obviously prepared to stand by him and see it through and do whatever we could to change the situation to let him have some sound, some form of hearing, that was our main goal. Not that we didn't accept him as a deaf person, but we just wanted a better life for him holistically. It was decided that Michael would get cochlear implants, but the initial attempt was unsuccessful. A second set of implants when he was 18 also failed and then began to cause him epilepsy. But rather than remove them, a new medical team tried repairing them and suddenly Michael could hear. We were actually overwhelmed. We couldn't actually take it in. We couldn't wrap our brains around the fact that um, he could now hear. I'm my first, I have first time to hear. My brother named the uh the uh the uh having hair but I've first My hopes and dreams for Michael's future is just that he can live a happy life, be part of the hearing world now at last, and um, there's a lot of work to still be done. He's got 25 years to catch up on, and um, it's actually a relief. At least I know when I and my husband die, at least we know Michael will be able to look after himself.